Assalamu alaikum and very good evening ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure and honor for me to, well, to come over here and to attend uh, uh, this, not only the session, it's a very knowledgeable session for me. Uh, in fact, I must say, although I was very nervous, but I just try to be attentive and try to grasp whatever uh, from this side I could uh, learn from this side and the knowledgeable uh, things which they are sharing. And I would really like to uh, say thanks and um, congratulate Madam Farzana Al Tafsha Saiba, the DG EPA, and all those partners who has taken such a big initiative, in which we, like a person like me, who came across to know that which are the dimensions or the way which we have to take in, which we have to go through. Like so many uh, points which I have gathered from here, such a learning things which I want to, um, which I learned today. So now getting back to the point as. Um, I'm the convener of the SDG Task Force, but other than that, of course, a member of a parliament, and this is my second term in the parliament. So this is something which is somehow, um, I will not say that only close to my heart, because I think this is something, because for me, I always say that I have, a, like most of the time when people from the civil society or other organizations, they do meet me, and they said that, Romina, which goal is much more uh, close to your heart? So I always tell them that because I have taken this task uh, as a, uh, with my own passion and it's a volunteer thing, but I, I always tell them that this is a question which you're asking to a mother who's having 17 children. So I'm an overpopulated mother who's having 17 children and 168 targets. So for me, everyone is very much important related to each other. You tell me which want, which goal you can take uh, or look after. But getting back to this subject, because I don't want to take much time because I know from morning till now you all are sitting over here and I don't want to um, be a great part among you people and the team. I just uh, have few recommendations and suggestions and uh, once again uh, that's very well said uh, Madam uh, Farzana that uh, first of all this uh, launch um, and this biotechnology subject on which you people today had a huge discussion. I much uh, not only congratulate, but I want to say that this wouldn't, st this should not stop here. I would request uh, to you, and and especially, I really, uh, it was a great uh, pleasure to me or to my heart that when I saw the SDGs goal on that. So I think that is more important because whatever we do talk, that all comes under the SDGs. So getting back. Um, all the subjects, uh, all the uh, points which were being mentioned before uh, this panel discussion and, and those two presentations, of course, I have taken. I can't go in that detail, but few things which I really want to say that that's true, that there are so many organizations, I much very much agreed with these gentlemen, that there are so many organizations those are working, but they all are working scatteredly. They're not together. They're not communicated. They're not having any sort of a collaboration. And most of the things, I believe, that the things have been uh, have, like going into the repetition or maybe the same uh, institutes are doing uh, the same research. So I think uh, along with the EPA, by taking this advantage of this forum today, I think you, this is a humble suggestion that if you can get connected or write the letters, that everybody should come up with their uh, research and what, like who's doing what. So that another one won't either want to do or either they can do the evaluation or uh, after like quarterly if they can sit together and you can organize such sort of a, um, uh, like seminar in a way that where people can discuss about on their research what they have done and that those recommendations which you got from them those recommendations should come to us through um, of course uh, the Ministry of Climate Change then uh, to the Parliament SDGs and then into the standing committees and sort of a policy of course we are already I'm, I'm very much agreed with this gentleman who said so that I believe that we are overpopulated in the legislation as well. Like we have so many legislations, policies, but n when we talk about the implementation side, I think that is more important. And uh, of course, the one missing component, which is very much missing, and which I am taking, not only take uh, for me take home uh, for the homework is, not the homework for the great work, that is uh, to come up with the biotechnology policy, 
which has been mentioned here. So I would request uh, this forum that, Madam, uh, you please come up with the suggestions. And SDG's Secretariat of Parliament is very much available there. And we want to continue this discussion, maybe not on the so larger, but from the recommendations from the today, which you have, uh, you know, gathered from here, those can come, like, to us, and we can sit and we can make the policy work, and then, of course, we can table or we can talk to the ministry or it could come. Then, uh, of course, uh, there's one thing which I really want to say over here that uh, that's true, that such a huge number of a fruit or uh, food has been wasted in our country. Like, we are the largest country who, I think, please correct me if I'm wrong, who produce a huge number of a milk, but that is, as we don't have that proper mechanism, uh, so that is getting wasted. And as you're talking about, uh, uh, Madam, you have uh, talked about or asked about the malnutrition side, that is, are we doing anything for the fortification side? So I just wanted to tell you that we are bringing one, so, uh, one uh, 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 legislation in that we're talking about the wheat fortification, right? So we are working on that. So, uh, getting back on it, that uh, one that, of course, you can introduce that uh, cold storage, which we just, me and you were talking, that uh, as um, Mr. Uh, Honorable uh, Panelists have mentioned, that we are in the nature of ke phal, matab, jo tarbuz hai, pura khaye, na khaye, leke pura jana hai. Fridge mein fruit gal jaye, hamne kisi ko dena nahi. Gal jaye, sar jaye, kharab ho jaye, it's okay, because for the fashion sake, it's there. We can't, we don't want to share the thing. So that is something which is bad, but I don't blame to the people as well, because this is something which has not been introduced to us. And I, I'm sorry to say, but what I've learned from the system is that if you make something in a modernable way, then people really want to get, to get it. Like, pabandi agar khane pe lag rahi hai shadi pe, to wo bohat sare shayad umrah jo hai, wo to sif mustafid ho jayenge, lekin ya jo mere jise loog honge, wam kehenge, nahi, mein, matlab ab mein to ye nahi kar sakti, mein jurmana de ki bhi karoongi, ke loog kya kehenge, mein roti nahi kwa sakti si. Like, you know, this is, this is somehow the nature we have. So I think we need to come up with the new things. I still remember the way uh, uh, EPA, ma Madam, you have uh, asked the people not to use, for the ban on the plastic bags. So that something has been introduced in a way. So when, you know, either people will listen if it's going to be a fear, or either they're going to listen if it's a fashion. So I think that's upon us. And Another thing that, of course, I do agree with these people that they said that their job is to do the research. Their job is not to do the marketing. So because if we're going to ask them to do marketing of your products, of course, how are they going to do that research? Because then they'll become the bias towards the, those things. And then when we talk about the EU and when we talk about those standardized things, like I still remember, like I still feel when I go, go um, around the globe, the fruit of Pakistan is amazing. There is no match of it, but we are just lacking behind in that things. Like if, uh, like climate change, of course, it's a great um, a component. We can, because I believe that climate change is no more a, a subject now, or just one thing. It is related to the human rights now, because it's like any disaster when it happens, it happened because. Uh, like, you know, your life gone, um, in, like, as we have a great example of uh, the floods we have, the glacier is melting, the, the uh, heat somewhere, it's extreme heat. At the same time, when Pakistan was being hitted by the floods, at the same time in Africa region, they're hitted by the droughts. So these are the things on which we have to uh, sit and work. And then uh, in the last... Um, I just wanted to say because uh, uh, there were, although my team has given me a huge research list and all that, but I don't think so. I need to say because something I just wanted to uh, conclude in a way that, I, of course, we uh, learned a lot f uh, from today, but I just want to recommend one thing else that when these universities or these institutions work on some farmer side, uh, I believe that it's very important that those students or those researchers, those uh, students who work or learn from the universities, they should have to go and work with the farmers. They should practice that theory which they have learned not in their own premises of the university. They should go out because I think, uh, like, if uh, I believe if I learned something and I did not practice it, there is no use of it. 
because sitting on a table and you know i'm talking about some some document that's a different thing but while practicing it it will bring more colors and more value to to your knowledge and for that i think that because when we talk because now it's a world of organic uh, fertilizers we are talking about and and for that if the farmer will be trained in a proper way if you can make a pilot projects i don't think so it will not work it will work greatly and another thing that uh, these projects can bring lots of value to to those farmers to those students and in in very um, last i just wanted to say that this uh, sort of a seminars should be more more often but i would request i would urge that please if you can make them in your in the easy common language because this is something which we are I'm, i'm like you people the knowledgeable people mashallah you're talking about or you're doing something for the common people but if the common people will not because I, i'm just a very ordinary person i of course i don't know that numerology in that numbers that that science but if i have to understand that need to be in some language in easy way for the people like in the bullet points because of course i cannot match to the scientist that i was request i have requested to madam farzana that i want to learn more ab wo jo hamara wo jo gmo ki baat ho rahi thi to maine kaha ye to mujhe lagta hai mujhe isme dakhla lena chahiye and i have to learn it because that is something which is very much relevant for everyone but we don't know that is something which a, a businessman also has to know because there are so many sites which i've i was going through with it that could be a great business opportunity for the people but it could be happened only that when a person like no, having little knowledge but they can understand it so these are my humble request and once again madam uh, congratulations and congratulations all the partners uh, of yours and we just as the sdg secretariat of parliament we are looking forward and i'll wait for your uh, biotechnology policy that uh, when you can come along with us you have your knowledgeable people and i'm sure the approach you have madam that is very much important for us and that is no one leaves behind you always try to listen and we always respect you for that and i'm sure everyone who's sitting over here i think you all need uh, a huge round of applause taaki jo soye mein mod jaye okay ji thank you so very much may allah bless you looking forward thank you thank you madam rumina we have had a really thought provoking session on biotechnology today and i can think of no better way to close it than by inviting our esteemed dg park epa madam farzana altaf shah to take the stage and end this session with her wise words on the future of this innovative industry please join me in welcoming to the stage madam farzana <laughs>